Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we'll be learning our words for the day. So let's go ahead and do that. The first word is holy, right? And holy means for something that is set apart, something that is seen to be very, very special and worthy of honor, right? Holy, base word holy. Holy, o u i holy. Oops, two syllables. Holy, ho li o u i Sorry about that. Okay, let's write it. Holy, ho li Right, markings. O once, rule four. u i rule six. All right. Now, the next word is holiday. Now, the a holiday, we use that term just to refer to any day that we don't have to work or don't have school or, or anything like that. But holiday comes from the word, words holy day, right? And these are days that religious um, people set apart as days that are holy, that are set apart, that are special for the worship of, of their God. And so different religions have different holy days. All right, um, we just generally use it for any kind of day that we set apart, uh, even if it doesn't have religious connotation. But historically, it's been for for religious purposes. Okay, so holiday, base word holy, base word day. I write holy. Now we don't normally do this. This does not follow the rule, but we are going to change our y i our y to an i, right, and add day to make the word. Holiday, hal i day, a o i da a holiday. Can okay, you write it? Hal i day. Markings, a o i. And then we have rule. And so if we changed it to a, for the Y from nice, so that's rule 24. Da A once, rule 18. It's squeezed in there. All right? So we didn't have to change the Y to an I because, um, because our ending starts with the vowel or anything. Um, we just did it because um, it doesn't really follow the rule, but we do need to change that Y to an I. Notice also the syllables change. It's not holiday, it's holiday. All right, go ahead and brace those two. The next word is knee, like the knee on my leg, my knee. Knee, base word knee. N, E, knee. Okay, so two letter N, beginning. And then E, okay, knee, N, E, markings, N, once, E, once, knee. The next word is lemon, right? Um, like the, uh, the fruit, it has kind of a sour flavor. Lemon, base word lemon, lem, on, O, E, N, A, N, lemon, lem, on. And this one actually has no markings. All right, the next word is the word lie, right? Like don't tell a lie. Lie, base word lie. O, I, lie. And we're going to use the I, E phonogram here, okay? Write the word lie. O, I. Now, markings, O, I, once. Now, this is a two-letter phonogram, right? But in a way, this E, we don't hear it, and it's almost like this E is allowing the I to say I, right? And so, therefore, when we do the word lying, right? Lying, base word lie, ending ing, I write lie, okay? And I have this E on the end that I don't really hear. Now, I know it's a part of this two-letter phonogram, but I don't really hear it, right? I hear the I, but I don't hear this. And I have ing, which starts with a vowel. Now, if I get rid of this e, then I would have two i's in a row. We don't like two i's in a row. So what are we going to do? We're going to change this y to a y. 
and then add ing to make the word lying. So it's ul, i with a y, i, ung, lying. Okay? So, lying. <clears throat> Lie, ing. Markings, ul, i, once, rule, four, or rule five. <clears throat> Now I got rid of that E, that's rule 11. I, ung, once. Lying. I'm going to erase those. All right, the next word is the word nails. Like uh, we have our finger nails, or nails like that we use for building things that we hit with a hammer, all right? Nails, base word nail, ending z. I write nail, add z to make the word nails. N a l z, nails. I'm using a not used. Nails. N a l z, nails. Markings. N a once, l z two, nails. Next word is needle. Like when the doctors have to give us medicine or take our blood, they'll use a needle. Needle. Base word needle. Mm, I would say need, knee, do, mm, e, d, o, e, needle. Knee, do. Markings, n, mm, e, once, d, o, e, twice, job, four. Needle. Next word is nobody, right? Nobody. Base word, no. Base word, body. I write no, add body to make the word nobody. No, bod, i. N o, b, a, d, i. Nobody. No, bod, i. Markings, n o, once, rule four. B, a, d, i, rule six. So, O may say O at the end of the syllable, rule four. English words don't end in Y, so I use, uh, or English words don't end in I, so I use Y, rule six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The last word is or, like uh, another word for a paddle when you're rowing your boat, you use an or, okay? Or, base word, or. O, or. or. Now, which O do you think we're going to use? Yeah, we use the O of boat, because we use an or in a boat. All right, write the word or, o, r, or, markings, o, once, r, or, right? And we can write here the word boat to help us remember. Okay, we use the same o of boat because you use an or in a boat. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that's ten. All right, I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.